Hi guys, um, I'm making this video to explain to you uh, the role of the observer, how each observer will work on his part because this uh, kind of uh, role or title is not very clear because you're not going to present in the debate. So your job is basically to evaluate uh, the presenters. So when you have two topics, Let's say, let's take an example of uh, so social media, media can improve uh, uh, human communication. So we have a group uh, uh, one and a group two, four and against. So your job basically is to look at this presentation or debate and evaluate the first group and evaluate the, evaluate the second group. I will show you examples in, in a minute. Um, the other reason for making this video is also to explain to the students who are part of the debate to know how they, how they will be uh, evaluated. So this makes it very clear to everybody. Everyone knows his or her role, okay? So let me share with you <clears throat> the evaluation sheet that I will use and, that, and the evaluation sheet that the uh, observers will use. So if you look at this one, this is just an example. Um, for, the, for the observers, what they will do, they will get this copy so you need to write your name as an observer here and then write the name of the presenters. So argument presenter, write his name or her name. That's for four. So if it's about <coughs> uh, projects or exams, that's for people who are for the idea. So you write the name and it's in the list, you can find it. Uh, argument presenter, respondent one, respondent two. If there is a respondent three, add it, otherwise just leave it and then a closing respondent. So you know their names, okay? Or you know their numbers. And then you come to the, uh, <clears throat> the criteria we're using. We have three levels, strongly agree, agree, or disagree. Or you could say that three levels of evaluation. So maybe uh, the first one is that they here, uh, they did a good job, so they get three. Or in between two, or bad timing, uh, they get one. Now, you're not going to evaluate every presenter. You will evaluate the two groups. So the group that is for and the group that is against. So what you can do, you look at clear voice. In general, how was the voice for the whole group, okay? So let's say it's two, you put two. Now, you come to the comment section and you can give your comments. Let's say here, Stick to time, 90 seconds, okay? So you could say that, let's say, uh, argument presenter, you can put number one if you want to save time. And number one, uh, use 70 seconds. Number uh, two, which is respondent one, used uh, 20 seconds, okay? And then you put the average. You could mention names if you want. Also, you can look at presentation skills, clear, precise argument, confirm, con, uh, confident and uh, positive attitude, clear English language as well. You add them, so if you put here three, two, you can put just X, you're fine. Just put the uh, letter X, whatever, and then add them and put the total out. The total is out 20, 21, right? Because seven by times three, that's 21. So just say, for example, it's 17 out of 21. I want you to do this, okay? And any comments in general, general comments here. Now, you go to the second group, you do the same thing, and you put the, uh, the grading, and you put, put the total here. If you have any comments you want to say other than this, please go ahead and write it here. You can write anything you want. Now, let me show you another example of an actual um, evaluation of a group, uh, just to help you in this. So, so this is uh, from another class uh, I did before. And look here. So the argument presenter one, respondent one, respondent two, closing one. Look at what the student, this is a work of a student, not my work, okay? So one of the students did this. So you look here, time, look what he or she did. Uh, one, 60 seconds, two, 100 seconds, three, 110 seconds, okay? You put the timing <clears throat> and then, so they, could, they get two because they did not stick. You look at good presentation or presentation skills, they were good, okay? They have good body language. Gaida, for example, use uh, some, pa some papers. 
and reading. Shahd was brilliant. So that's those are the comments that I want to see. And then you do it and you prepare it. You look at the second group and you do the same thing with this comment. I think this is a good example. You can learn from it, go back to the video and watch it and understand it. So when you have, as an observer, you can, in the class, you can take notes, but again, the video will be recorded, so you can go back and evaluate. And I will give you three days to submit your evaluation sheet or the observation sheet, okay? I hope this is clear. Um, by this, I can uh, explain to you or can summarize that basically the observer is not to speak. The observer has to pay attention to everything that they say and to be fair the way he or she evaluate the presenters. I need to see a grid here and I need to see a grid here. So this group got 17, this group got 14 out of 21. Now, let me go back and explain something else to the students who are presenting. Uh, here, your job as a presenter, first is to stick to your part. So if you're argument presenter, your job is to do the argument presenter. Introduction, you give the ideas and you close it. Respondent one, your job is to respond to the other part, the other group, respond to them, take notes and tell them you said this, but this is that, okay? And then you close and summarize, put some ideas. 90 seconds, you go to the second respondent, third respondent, closing respondent should coordinate with the argument presenter and coordinate the timing and the ideas and finish with time. Use keywords such as, uh, 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 in, a, in summary, in a closing, in conclusion, in a nutshell, whatever you want, and you close your presentation. Those are the things to keep in mind. Stick to time, good presentation skills, clear voice, clear, precise argument, good argument, logic. Remember Mahdi Hassan that we watch and cats and dogs? Also clear and related content. The content has to be logically clear and good. Confident and positive attitude, the way you speak, you're confident, you know what you're talking about. And definitely English language is also very important. Those are the issues to keep in mind when you present. You already have a copy of this in the instructions. So please make sure you use it and make sure you are using all the ideas that we discussed so you can do a good job. The group that wins or gets higher grades from the observers and from me will get ex extra credit. I think. Debate and discussion, as we said before, is a higher level of presentation. So you really need to be ready, prepared, not only to present your idea, but also to, to know the other person's idea and present it in a good way. I'm not gonna take more than your time. Uh, so I think this, hopefully this is helpful. Let me know if you have any question and good luck to each and every one of you. Thank you so much and good luck.